So she left today with study. Newton second. She left today with study. Newton second. She now already we have completed Newton first law. If you may remember that Newton first law, the Newton first law, we have found the first inertia. Inertia is the measure of mass. Newton second law gives the concept of moment time. First, what is meant by moment time? Let me explain what is meant by moment time. Moment time means a product of product. Mass and velocity. What is momentum means? Product of mass and velocity. So momentum is normally denoted with e, mass into velocity. Units, mass is kg, velocity is meter per second, so kg meter per second. If you were given a direction from the lower mass to minus mass, that comes in m, l, m minus. Just remember, definition is product of mass and velocity. Momentum. Now, children, Newton's second law states. Newton's second law states that ray in physics ray is by time change. In physics ray means by time change. Rate of change of momentum is equal to force applied. Okay, children. So, what is saying, children? Rate of change of momentum. Change of momentum means change of force. Initially, what is moving is the initial momentum, let me say, mass into initial velocity. Then after some time, let me say, final momentum of the body, final momentum of the body, mass into final velocity. Change in momentum. Suppose change in momentum. Change in momentum is how much change? Mu minus Mu. Mu minus Mu. Rate means, children, rate of change in momentum means? Rate is what you rate of change in momentum. Mu minus Mu by T. Mu minus Mu by T. And I told that rate of change of momentum is force applied. So force is equal to Mv minus Mu by T. What do you think? So force is equal to Mu take common V minus Mu by T. Okay, so F is equal to Mu. Because we know amplification is rate of change of velocity. So F is equal to Mu. Derivation for m is equal to m by t. So, so children coming to the force, we have to discuss whenever we discuss the second law. Immediately we should discuss about the force. What is force? So force is equal to mass into acceleration. Mass means what kg. Acceleration is what meter per second square. So one kg meter per second square. Instead of saying every time one kg meter per second square, we can say directly newton. What is meant by 1 newton? 1 kg meter per second square. What is meant by 1 newton? 1 kg meter per second square. 1 kg meter per second square. 1 kg will have how many grams? 1000 grams. 1 meter will have how many centimeters? 100 centimeters. Second square won't change. Children. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 to the power of 5 grams centimeter per second square. Children, SI system, Newton. In CK system, gram centimeter per second square, what do we call? Nina? Dine. Dine. So 1 Newton is equal to 10 to the power of 5 times. 1 Newton. Children, Newton is CK uh, SI system, children. And Dines. Dines is CK system. What is the relationship between Newton and Dines? You have to derive this and show. And this is also force. And force is a vector quantity because the acceleration is a vector quantity. Okay, children. So this is about Newton's second law. Okay. So Newton's second law gives the concept of momentum. Okay, children. So what is a momentum product of mass and velocity? Units are kg meter per second. What is Newton's second law definition? Rate of change of momentum V is equal to force applied. Rate of change of momentum is equal to force applied. Initial momentum is mu. Final momentum is mv. Change in momentum is mv minus mv. Rate means by time. This whole thing is equal to force here only total. Taking m common, v minus u by t is rate of change of velocity is acceleration. Rate of change of velocity is acceleration. F is equal to m. And units per force is newton. And one newton is called homogeneous dynamics, 10 to the power of 5 times. This derivation is also given. What is the relationship between newton and dynamics? You have to deny like this. You can make sure. Practice by this kind of thing. This is newton's second law. So, basing on newton's second law, children, we do some numericals. Then you will understand clearly. So, here I told two formats, children. One is Momentum is equal to mass into velocity, and then when it's force is equal to mass into acceleration. 
using these two formulas, we will do something like that. So then you will understand clearly what is force. Okay, children? So, so what are the two formulas we need first? One is F is equal to M. Other one is F is equal to if you want M minus M B F is equal to M minus M B 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 if you know, you can tell me, Chilean. Okay. Question is a force of 20 Newton changes the position of a body. If the mass of body is 280, what is the angular direction? Sir, 10 meters per second. Square. 10 meters per second. So, Chilean, F is equal to 1500 meters per second. No. 1500. No. no. We are committing a small mistake. We are not changing grams to kgs. That is a major mistake you are doing. 150. Yeah. So 3 meters, 3 meters, 5 meters, 15 by 10 is 1.5 kg meters per second. Then you should always convert grams to kilos per minute. So, I think your answer will go down to the issue. Next question. Next question. Next. An automobile of mass 1600 meters. Okay. Uh, is what force must be applied if the vehicle should be stopped with a negative acceleration of? 1.7 meters per second. What force should be applied to stop this vehicle? What force should be applied to stop this vehicle? Direct is something. Sir, 1500 into 1.7. 
continue the force between two balls is two meter. Question is what happens? What m1 is m1, m2 is m2, this can be here. What happens to the force? What happens to the force if all each mass is half and is equal to you know, half? All are half. So children, here we have to use universal law of gravitation. I hope everyone of you know. Children, F1, for F1, children, F1, here F1 we will write it as what children? G M1 M2 by T square. Everyone should be my children. And F2, F2 will write G M1 M2 by T square. So F2 is for G, M1 is becoming half. M2 is also becoming half. B also becoming half. Try to understand. Try to understand. So F2 is equal to G M into M 2 to the 4 children. D square by 4. D square by 4. 4, 4 cancel. And this is equal to first and fourth value. So F2 is equal to M1. 4 remains constant. Means, um, there is no change in the force even after the offense. Half of the distance will be there because we are even half, half, half we are children because we are even half in the uh, mass of the maybe half, distance of maybe half. The force remains half. I this question will come in exam. Five more questions I do. I hope everyone are copying children. If you agree, anyone will copy. I'll send the picture and keep it later. You can copy children. I'll send the picture. Yes, you have to be careful with all these things, very, very important. I can't start from rest, children. Can't start from rest. And accelerate uniformly for 10 seconds. Accelerate uniformly for 10 seconds. Attains a velocity of 20 meter per second. Then the mass of the car is 800 kg. Find the force. Anyone wants to try, children, or share it? Again? So mass is 800. Children, B is 20. U is 1600 newtons. By 10. So children, what will you think and do? 20 minus 0 is 20. 20 by 10 is 20. So 1600 newtons is the answer. OK, one more question. We'll do one more question. Please concentrate, children. The ball is falling freely from a tower of high five meters. The ball is falling freely from a height of 5 meters. How much momentum does it transfer to the floor if the mass is if its mass is 5 grams? If its mass is 5 grams, then the ball is falling in children. On reaching the floor, what is its momentum on reaching the floor? On reaching the floor, what is momentum? Momentum means mass into the velocity. Children. Okay, so children, the ball is falling freely. We the body is falling free, right now it's not. We know e square minus u square is equal to mx. The body is falling free. So children, v square minus u square is equal to 2 into g into h. H is how much? 5. So v square is equal to 100. V is equal to 10 meters per second. Means it is hitting ground at 10 meters per second. Children. It is hitting the ground at 10 meters per second. Now momentum we should find. Momentum is equal to mass to the velocity. 500 by 1000 because grams to radius into 10 meters. So this is gone. So 5 dB meter per second. Like this, you have to touch it. One more section. Okay. Uh, so what would be the force? Tamay? Tamay, can you tell me this one? What is the force required to produce an acceleration of 2 meter per second square in a body of mass 20? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
F equals to M A. Okay, so the second F equals to 12 into 2. Okay. F equals to 24. 24 Next, the height you see is the moon. The height? Yes, sir. 70 grams is the mass of the ball. Moving with velocity of 0.5 meter per second. He stopped it. Stopped it means value was 0 by a player in 0.5. What is the force supplied by the player? Same formula. Force supplied by the player. Can you tell me? F yes, sir. M, M into V minus U by T. Okay. 70 by 1000. 70 by 1000 into 0 minus 0. 0.5. 0 minus 0. 0.5 by 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. So this is gone. This is gone. 7 by 100 means 0. And minus is there minus 0 0.07 newton. Why you got minus amount? Because it is retardation. Because ball is stopped on an when ball is stopped, it is retardation. That's what you want. Three are here. Yeah, none are here. Yes, sir. Two cars have masses, M1 is 20 is 4 is to 5. And ratio of their activation, A1 is 22 is 2 is to Find the ratio of force exerted on them. Find the ratio of force exerted on them. F1 by F2. F1 by F2 is equal to M1 A1 by M2 A2. F1 by F2 is equal to M1 is 4, 4 into 2 by 5 into 3. So how much is the answer? 8, 8 by 15. 8 by 15 is? 8 is to 15. Is the ratio of force applied? Is the ratio of force applied? A patient like this, you have to do it. Okay, so some more numericals are there, children. Whenever time is, uh, uh, whenever time comes, I will, uh, in next class, I will discuss some more numericals because you should be strong with numericals. If you know numericals, children, you can do anything, children. Okay, so some chemistry will start, children. Thank you.